Hello and welcome back to. I had to find a way out. Yeah, Alan, thank you. This is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome back to Lovecraft Country and Alan Wake on our journey through the dark. First things first, we just picked up a manuscript. You know what that means. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the writer hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. I'm calling it. Hartman's the big bad here. He's the one who started it all. Absolutely positive on that. Right then, I think it's time to leave. Anything in here? Nope. Let's go. Ooh, no flashlight. Things are a little screwy. Gotta get out of here before the eats us, I think. Right then, where are we? Oh my, that's not an exit. Um I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my life. If they need light, I think I saw some searchlights upstairs. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Thank God Hartman knows enough to keep an auxiliary system around. Oh shit. Wrong button. You know, kinda glad. Let's go. Work lights for the win. Kinda running a little jagged there, Alan. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that was, but, you know, I don't want to know. Let's just get the heck out of here. Oh, come on. Oh, not again. Uh, yeah, time to go. This way, wherever this is. Supplies, supplies. Yes, flare. One flare. Something tells me. Okay. Okay. There's never always time for some television. Seriously, is this a tell is this an advertisement? I was hoping for Night Springs episode. I'm not an NASCAR fan and Okay, I don't know what this is, but it was worth the achievement boob tube. Sure. We're out of here. <laughs> Not going that way, apparently. Uh, or are we? Yeah, hang on. Uh, okay, one more time, please. Ah, excellent. I'm going to run past you. I hope you don't mind. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, not here. Oi. Run, 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 run. Don't have any cover, damn it. Ugh. All right, let's try this again. This wonder ball of death here. Okay, one more time. 
No, I didn't think so. Alright, right, ready? Ready? Excellent! Alright, alright, alright. We're in deep shit if this thing launches again. Oof! Deep shit indeed. But, hopefully, it can't get me directly out here. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Let me out! Seriously, is... Uh, well, yeah, that's not going to work. Do I have to lure this thing in? All right, all right, dude. Here I am, okay? Ready? Move! All right, partial victory, partial victory. We got the door open. Flashlight, flashlight, want flashlight. Oh, thank God, that worked. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Oh, that sounds safe. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Best friend ever. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! Man, this is not gonna do much for the uh, real estate market. Oh. Oh, shite! I thought there was a manuscript page. I guess I was wrong. Need to leave. Need to leave. Oh, 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 batteries, batteries. Always batteries. Always look for stuff. That'll do. Thank you. I'm all for that. What do we got? Alright. Okay, so... Two flares, 12 bullets, and a small flashlight. Okay, what's next? Ooh, I just want to see if I missed anything up here. Because it looks like it all went inert. Excellent. Ooh, 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 where are you? Ooh, ooh, sign. Suspended, Lauren Miller, 1989. Great. Glad I came back for that. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it might punish me for staying here, but... Ooh. Thermos. No, I couldn't get out that way. That sucks. Yeah, I know. It's kind of counterintuitive, but I can't get back in there. Dang it. I don't see anything else. Nah, I already read that. Got some coffee. That's something. Alright, into the... No, oh, sure, the hedge mage is going to be safe as... Safe as kittens. I can just tell. Hang on a second. We're back. Okay. I think you're always supposed to turn left, but I'm never quite sure about this. So let's head right. Anybody here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anything else? Uh, evil guys? They're taken, dude. Taken! Ooh, more stuff. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Uh, can't waste any bullets. I had a frag there. Anything over here? Ooh. <laughs> yeah.
Uh, bullets is money. Bullets is time, unfortunately. Ooh, whoa, whoa, what's that? Ooh, excellent. One lovely reading. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Best part ever. You'll see this scene and you'll love it. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Ooh, more stuff. Excellent, excellent, excellent. For stuff, guys. You're ruining my journey here. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, hi. Moving, moving, moving. Oh, that hurt. Well, that was unpleasant. Oh, what's this? Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. You know, I don't think those preparations work so well, Hartman. All right. Hopefully this is a way out. Yeah, you probably should have some sort of plans with mazes, but I'm just having too much fun. Is that a way out? Well, whoever that is seems to be having a moment. I really don't want to interrupt, but I don't think I have a choice. Ooh, lightning. <laughs> This doesn't look like the perfect place for an ambush, does it? We got one flare at the least. Lots of bullets. Bullets are good. Thirty rounds, one flare. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cool. This is why I am not fond of the American Medical Association's treatment of mental health. They just pill you up. Hartman, looks like your help has got to find a new employer. Oh, fuck you. Birds, too! Oh, how many bullets does this guy take? Oh, fuck you, guys.
Well, that was unpleasant. Oi. What do we got? Flare gun. That would have been useful about ten seconds ago. Uh, unfortunately, one shot. Can't really let that one go. Let's see. Where do we go from here? Ah! Fuck you, birds. Fuck you, birds. Ah! What's going on? Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, bullets are good. Bullets are good. Bullets in the gun are better. Come on, come on. Who's next? Who's next? Getting a little nervous. Less likely to go looking for stuff when I'm nervous. Ah, much better. Thank you. Ooh, baby. Probably, yeah, just a double barrel, but you know what? Ain't gonna bitch about it. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. I'm glad you're dead, Mott. Right then. Anything else? Anyone else? Only six rounds. Never walk down the straight slope. Straight through the middle of any place like this. Just asking for an ambush. See what I mean? Ooh. Little sneaky bastard. Yeah, being a little genre savvy there. Hey, got a flare. Good. Birds showing up. Great. Ah, fuck you. This is gonna suck. Totally got me there. safe spot. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. We are not losing Barry. I don't care how much reality I have to rewrite. Hmm. Again. It's a lot of revolver ammo. Not liking this. Emil made Tom do him. That's a bit of a lore. You gonna fuck with me? Ah! Go 
God, I can't see. God damn it, people. Back off. Just you and me. Lucky. And yes, that is what I thought it was. Oh, good grief. Where are you? Okay. Alright, alright. There we go. Right then. You know, after this vacation, I'm going to need a vacation. That's where we're supposed to be going, I hope. Okay, so... More flares... Oh, god, awful amount of stuff. Twelve shotgun rounds. Uh, making me feel a little... A little nervous. Oh, manuscript. Looks like we missed one. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Here's the Sleep question. Well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Calling it, Emil is behind everything. Even though he's dead. Alright, let's kill this. Oh boy. Again, not gonna go down the center. Ooh, batteries. Where, where are the batteries? Oh, seriously, there you are. Ah. Uh, Let's go see what this Lovecrafting horror has to do, do, give us this time. Oh, thank God, it's just Barry. Al! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Yeah, let's do this. Tower defense. Hurry up, Barry. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. People. Got one more. No, I don't. Oh, that's not good. Fuck. Oof. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try this again. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on, I'm on it. 
All right. Who wants some more? Excellent. Actually... Oh, not quite, not quite. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, not quite enough of a dodge. That works. I kind of like that. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, son. We're going. Why did we bring the cut up? I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says. I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Ooh, that clinic's not looking so good.